The MAGA hat under fire again. A restaurant in California, the owner says he's not going to serve customers who wear it. He tweeted this. It hasn't happened yet, but if you come to my restaurant wearing a MAGA cap, you aren't getting served. Same as if you come in wearing a swastika, a white hood, or any other symbol of intolerance and hate. CNN even took the racist comparison one step further. If people were wearing shirts in that said, I hate black people, would he be okay to say, don't come into my place with that? And I yes. think most people would be like, yeah. yeah. That's how people like him see the MAGA hat. That hat. Uh, means uh, the Central Park Five to people. Maybe it means birtherism to people. Maybe it means, you know, Mexicans are rapists to people. Joining me now, actor Stephen Baldwin, the star of the movie The Least of These, now in theaters. Go check it out. And the co host of UnPC on Fox Nation, Britt McHenry. So, Stephen, this hat now. Yeah. Can't wear it in restaurants. CNN says it's offensive. Can't wear it. I mean, what do you think about all this crap? Well, if my hair wasn't looking so good right now, Jesse, I, I, I'd teach these folks a lesson, okay. if you know what I mean. It's not looking that good. I think you might be able to try it off. Well, here, here's, here's, here's all I can say. Yes. I'm here to promote a movie yes. uh, that's an important film for, 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 for lovely reasons. Uh, but can, can we get a good... Yeah, there we go. Can you see this, folks? <laughs> not going away anytime soon, people. If you ban, just saying, if you ban this hat now, <laughs> they're going to wear it more, Britt. I mean, yes. they, CNN just maybe got another hundred thousand sales for the hat. <laughs> hey, every time, and but it doesn't make sense from a business perspective. If you consider the red hen, remember the controversy and outrage oh, the when the Sarah owner Sanders didn't want Sarah out. Sanders in there. That owner ended up resigning. Do you hear anything about that? No, you just see miss profits and a really dumb decision. What happened when Kanye wore the hat? I mean, he had is, does that mean he's he's racist? Kanye, remember he went to the Oval sure. with the president? I mean, if he goes into the restaurant, does that mean they're not going to serve Kanye? But maybe he'll go there wearing the hat. He should. And then he'll just, like, do the whole love thing like he does. Yeah. And then we'll all just get along. Yeah. It's possible. I, I think I think that's probably never going to happen. <laughs> but um, I, I think I know what you mean, though. I mean, if you if you're an African-American and you wear this hat, that's basically what was that? What was that uh, comedian? Chappelle. Remember, mm -hmm. yeah. he, he dresses up. He's blind. He doesn't know he's black and he's wearing the white hood. They're basically saying if you're black, you can't even wear this hat because you're a racist. It's absurd. Words are words, okay? Make America great again isn't what Chris Cuomo said of wearing a t-shirt that says, I hate black people. That is, they're not the same thing. And it's just, you see the last two weeks, the Covington Christian kids in the uproar, the fake yeah. news story about what happened simply because they wore this, followed a week later with uh, Jesse Smollett from Empire. Now we're seeing holes in the story that MAGA had nothing to do with his attack, at least according to Chicago police. So maybe just stop putting the false accusations <laughs> on a red hat. I mean, am I, I can't go to a restaurant if I put this on. I'll there put it, it on. Is. Yeah. I have a big yeah. head, though. If you went to San Francisco looking like that, you get eaten head. alive, Britt. I mean, it's working. I San think, Fran, I'm ready for you. There you go. I think what makes America great again, or mm -hmm. just what makes America great, is this process, Jesse. Right now, a lot of young people are looking this way and look, they're looking at what's going on and they're going, I don't know that I agree. Like, yeah. I, I think inevitably, regardless of President Trump mm -hmm. and he's going to get a second term and all that good stuff, I think as we continue, 40% undecided voters and a lot of young people are going to start, whether they agree with Make, a great, Make America Great Again, doesn't matter. Yeah. I think this is Trump's you know, crazy like a Fox routine here is he keeps communicating in such a way that he's exposing the truth. Right. And inevitably, I think that's going to be an advantage uh, uh, in the next 10 years. And the way they're reacting, they're exposing themselves. Because you mentioned young people. Young people don't like being told what to wear, what not to wear. The left is saying you can't drive this. You can't drink a big gulp. You can't say this. You can't say Merry Christmas. Everything the left is saying you can't do, people, like you just said, are going to think, right. wait a second, right. this is not American. Don't right. tell me what to do. I think there's yeah. a common sense logic, and a lot of young people who, who even maybe support the left are looking at that right now going, that, 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 that's not cool because flip it the other way. And it's not just. It's not correct. No. The um, people are comparing this to the, the baker. Remember the Christian what? baker? Sure. And he wouldn't make a gay wedding cake. The difference is, 
he was complicit in something that he believed was against his faith. You know, he was made to bake a cake that said, you know, you know, Dick and Harry and the two guys like this, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. He, he didn't believe that. The guy at the restaurant, he's just making burgers and fries. He's not, he's not complicit in anything. He's going to make the same thing for everybody. Yeah, and, and with the baker, you know, that's his religious belief. And, and again, if any of these establishments, you don't want certain people in, you do own the place, but you have to prepare for the overwhelming response that's not going to like it. And I see plenty of restaurant owners on social media with all this anti-Trump rhetoric or anti-Republican rhetoric. You retweet it and say, wow, like, you're not going to let us in. They get the backlash, and then they claim they're the ones being bullied, yeah. even though they're not allowing people to come into their establishment. I'd let anybody in as long as they pay, right? I mean, <laughs> green's green. I don't red, green, whatever. Your movie, tell yes, everybody sir. about it real quick. It's called The Least of These. And you can go to leastofthese.movie, not .com. So it's based okay. on the life of Graham Staines. It's called The Least of These. It's beautiful. All right. It's got a wonderful message of hope and forgiveness. All right. Brit and Baldwin, Baldwin and Brit. <laughs> got to get a ring to it. <laughs> All right. That's <laughs>